Welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of Space Exploration Crustoria 2 and AAI Vehicles. So, today we're gonna take a jab at Vitalik Reagent and there's also another change coming in today. Um, we have done some research and I'm not quite sure when we unlocked it, but we unlocked it some time ago. Also, I do want a hypercooling tree, give me that. Um, we have unlocked advanced chemical plants as well as advanced assembly machines. Now, the advanced chemical plants, I think we have already used them for, yeah, we already used them for the enriched copper, the enriched iron, and the enriched rare metals. But the advanced assembly machines over here, we have not used yet. And if we take a look at this machine over here, we will notice that this is a whole bunch of assembly machines, chemical plants, uh, and everything. So we are going to condense this thing down into a couple of these. I don't really want to make much more of the stuff over here, but what I want to do is take the middle part out and condense it down to a couple machines so that we can make even more vitalic acids um, and Vitamilang extract, and then we can turn that into vitalic reagent. So step number one is uh, cut Cut it all. Cut this life into pieces. There we go. We need that pizza resort. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now, picking up all the stuff is probably going to be a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, my inventory is already full. Uh. <laughs> Here, have this. Have that. Have this. Have that. We're also picking up quite a lot of modules, which is also kind of nice. Uh, there we go. Just keep... Keep on pushing, keep on pushing. My inventory is getting way too full. Um, there we go. <laughs> that works. <laughs> We're outside of the logistics uh, zone, so that should be fine as well. Yeah, put that back in. Uh, the couple of bots I have left in my possession should be able to take care of everything over there. And then we'll just figure out our inventory later. Uh, we will probably just make some kind of machine or some kind of setup where we can feed back the stuff that we just picked up back into the whole cycle. Good, but there is quite a lot of stuff sitting around over here. It's, it's more than I expected. It's, it's wow. <laughs> it's just coming all together. Um, are we done yet? Come on, bots, be faster. My, my suit is running out of power. My suit is out of power. <laughs> Actually, we still have some batteries, but the batteries and the portable nuclear reactor can't keep up pushing power into the personal robot ports. But we are also... We are full. <laughs> we are also almost done. Here, have this, have that, have this. Here we go. And look at that! We are basically done. So... Can I pick this up again? Nope. Because I also have a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Yes. What are we missing from over here? Uh, we do want these. We do want those. And the rest of this we can figure out later. Good. So, uh, rebuild time. Uh, step number uno. Uh, we are going to make ourselves some... What is it called again? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Some Vita Melang Spice. Out of the rows that is coming from down there. Now, um, the advanced uh, assembly machines over here, they do have four slots. So we can put in... Wait a minute. I should have some better modules over there. There they are. Yeah, put some of these back and give me the very good modules, please. There we go. Good. Uh, they do have four slots for prod bonuses, so that's good. And of course, we will be placing uh, a beacon around here somewhere. Uh, where we can make it go even faster. Now, the big question is, how many of these machines can we fiddle around a beacon? Only four. Um, then, if it's only going to be four, we might as well play for space and make it nice and big. Um, because there, there's no reason to make it super duper tight and super duper tiny. Keep in mind, um, let's power this thing up and have a look at the crafting speed. Uh, things will be fast. We will have a crafting speed of 32.75 over here. That is input crafting speed. Um, and the recipe over here goes at a rate of 1 per second. That means over here we already are eating 32.75 Vitamilang roast per second. In total, this whole thing over here eats 120. 
Uh, and then turns that into half a belt, 60 plus productivity bonus of 48%. Let's just say 50. Um, so 60, 90. So um, 120 come in, 90 comes out. This thing alone over here. Now, <laughs> I've already removed the last one. Uh, so we can't really compare it anymore to how much we were making it. But if we take a look at this one, okay, we got four, eight blue belts coming in. I want to make a machine that consumes all of these eight blue belts and turns them into the spice. Yes. So, um, two of you, 60, 120. 120 is not dividable by 45. Well, is technically. That is three blue belts. Um, but a blue belt, two blue belts. Hmm. Yeah, two blue belts go into three machines. Four blue belts go into six machines. Hmm. Can we get six machines around this thing? That's the question. Let's do some... some. Okay, let's, let's start with the basic one. No, no range. Hmm. If we move you out a bit more... Yeah, let's, let's let the bots pick this up all the time because they are definitely faster than we are. Um, no. I can't get more than four around this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't get more than four around this one. Unless... No, it's, it's going to be the same. And the range is just too small. And the building over here is too big. Um, so that means we should go back to the original plan we had. Um, and that is just make it nice and big. Nice and big is fine. We don't need to overdo it. We This is already going to be uh, good for space. So make a nice big build. There we go. Um, and then we are going to go with double that. Hmm. How much space is in there? Four. So, one, two, three, four. That will be eight. Uh, now, three of these eat two belts. That will be four belts. We eat this part. If we make this one again, then we would eat eight belts. And you know what? If we make it again, we can pull out more belts out of this machine over here. So, we can just do something like this. And I think this will be fine. And then this is going to be our build. And then we're just going to place it somewhere over here. That will be fine. And sure. I'm happy with that. Uh, also, we can upgrade belts. And now to think about it, why not just upgrade the belt? Um, we could upgrade this to like a 60 belt. A 60 belt to maybe 360 belts. Yeah, 360 belts. That would be 180 Four forty-five belts is also 180. So we're going to take out a belt. There we go. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> no. um, take out the belt. There we go. Zip. Put that shine over there, please. Thank you. Uh, then we're going to upgrade the belt. There we go. And then we can do something like this. Uh, so... Technically, we eat more than a red belt, but we are just going to go with a red belt. Red belt is fine. We don't need to overdo it. Uh, and then you get one over there. And then it's going to be something like this. Uh, you get input over there, input over there, input over there. Uh, green belt going into there. Green belt going into there. Green belt going into almost. There. That should connect up. Yeah, it's fine. Good. And then we need some more red belt. Red belt going into there. That was a bit too much. Sorry about that. Red belt going to there. And red belt going to there. Because that's a nice split down. Um, that is 45, 90, 180, 60, 120, 180. Perfect. And then we do the same thing over here on the other side. And then we got a nice little build. Um, we could split it even further. <laughs> we could split it again, um, and turn the red belt into two yellow belts, and then make it so that each of these gets 
fed up from this side and from this side. We could do that. I don't think we need to do that. Uh, but it's a nice thing to think about if we maybe or maybe not want to do something like that in the future. I mean, it, it would help out with balancing a bit, but then again, I, 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 we're not really in any kind of SPM land or any kind of high performance build land. So I don't think we need that. Um, until we do, but that will be later. <laughs> So units there, units there, and then units there. And good. That is going to make all the spice. So, um, two of these together. Uh, well, we half it down. So technically, output of... No, wait, we don't half it down. We three-quarter it down. So, two of these together make a blue belt. That is definitely correct. So, one could do this. One could do that. Uh, you have an air, you have an air, and then blue belt out, blue belt out. This is correct. Uh, and then we just try to do this. Okay, it's, it's going to be a bit different everywhere. That is perfectly fine. It's fine to be different. Uh, you have an air, you have an air, you have an air, you have an air. Uh, you go like this, and you go like that. There we go. Uh, don't need this, don't need that. What we do need is this, that, and that's that. Good. And then, of course, this one over here, I've completely butchered. But we could do something like this. Uh, you have an air, you have an air, and then give me that nice blue belt. You do that, and you do this. And sure, that will be our output. Now, this already looks way better. And then we have all the space over there. Uh, to do the rest. We might want to push this down. We definitely want to push this down. And... There we go. Uh, the bots are going to have a field day with this one. <laughs> Here, have this, have that. Have this, have that. Uh, move it all down, please. Oh, my inventory is full again. <laughs> there we go. That should be fine. Almost fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy to push all this stuff back into the machine. There we go. Good. That's the noise they make. I was kind of like, what the hell is that noise? Good God, they make an awful noise. Now, very important, two things we need to do. First and foremost, lamps. Um, if we don't place lamps in this thing, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to be happy. So, lamps are in. Second and uh, foremost. I hate the sound. <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds too sharp. Like, 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 this is high-pitched screech. Sound no 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 give give me like a give me like a low sub moving thump, not a high pitch screak. Even though screaks are fun, but no no oh <laughs> well so be it. Uh, this all of here is going to make spice. Now we want to turn spice into what's it called extract as well. We want also want to export the spice. We want to go both ways. Uh, and not only that, we also want to, let's make that over here real quick, turn spice into our reagent. So that's the two things we need to do. Uh, all of this, of course, takes prod mods and speed mods, uh, which is very, very good. Mm, and now the big question is, uh, well, for one, let's give you some power real quick. Because I want to check up on one quick thing. Where is my beacon mode? There we go. Beacon over there. Uh, put in... Oh. Are we already out of speed modules? Really? There's some speed in here. Is there some more speed in here? No. I guess we can use the slower speed mods a bit. There we go. Because this machine already has a natural crafting speed of 8. Uh, and with speed modules, we're now at sitting at 43. Okay. Uh, 43. We need one spice per second as an input, and we get half the amount out. 
So if you are sitting at a crafting speed of 43, that means you eat 43 items per second. That is technically a blue belt. Um, yeah, that's a blue belt. And we get the blue belt out over here, over there, over here. So why not feed it? You know what we could do? Hmm, wait a minute. Kind of thinking a bit. So we could feed this thing over here with a blue belt coming from down here. Um, that is almost working correctly. Oh, I see what's happening over there. There we go. Yeah, okay, the sound. Maybe, maybe. Okay, it, it, it's getting to me, but but still. Urgh. Um, good. We could feed the full blue belt into one of these, and then you are going to make a spice, and then you turn that into half a blue belt, plus productivity bonus of 48% on top of that, basically 50. That's going to be three quarter of a blue belt, or something, 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 43.6 items per second. Something, something, something. <laughs> Very much abbreviated that one over there. Uh, which we could then funnel into over here this machine over here however oh this one over here is going to be a bit different we're going to need 1.3 extract per second so a little bit more same crafting speed um yeah it could be fine i mean you are going to push out three quarters of a red Okay, how about we do this one step at a time? Don't don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. Just one step at a time. Uh, this machine over here is also a bit bigger. So we start off with something like this. We then take you. Place you there. We definitely want to make a full machine of this. Either way. Here we go. That hits not everything. Now it does. Good. Hmm... We could do two things over here. Hmm, maybe three things. I mean, this over here will eat four blue belts either way. Sure, why not, actually? Maybe? Yes? No? Hmm. <laughs> I'm a bit on the fence about stuff at the moment. Um, how about... Okay. No, no, no. I got, I got my solution. We're going to put it over here. And we're going to do the following stuff. So, blue belts... First of all, let's gather up these blue belts over here. There we go. Now it's all gathered. Uh, we might want to push this up a bit more. Then we're gonna do the following. Mm, we're gonna make a classic 4x4. Do we need the balancer? Yeah, we do need the balancer. We do need the balancer. We're going to make the classic 4x4 balancer. Uh, there we go. There we go. And then... You, 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 Done. That is in. And... Apple priority over here is going to be out. Apple priority over here is going to be outwards. Same over here, same over there. <laughs> Which means we get two belts over here. These will always, always, always be full. What's going on with you? Oh, you have the same issue. What the hell? <laughs> These two belts over here will always, always be full. Um, Which means that... Yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Mm, wait, no, 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 no. Getting there, getting there. Um, these will, these two belts will go over here wherever we export whatever we're exporting over there. Then we do need to figure out. Am I overthinking this? I am overthinking this, aren't I? I'm super overthinking this. <laughs> I'm super overthinking. No, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Remove. I overdid it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Don't make it that complicated. Keep it simple and stupid. That's usually the way to do it. And you now we can keep it simple and stupid. Uh, we're just going to split the belt off and we're going to bleed it through. So we're going to have this thing sitting, say... Oh, yeah, we're going to have one over here. Okay, we 
we, we, we do need... Yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a tight build over here. That's fine. You go away. You over there. Uh, and make this the reagent. There we go. Good. And then it's going to be a very simple and stupid build. The simple and stupid build is going to be like this. Uh, this thing goes up. Goes into these. Um, and then where's my input? I should also watch the clock because I'm very indulging myself with this. And usually when that's the case, the time is like flying away. But we're fine. We're at the 20-minute mark. So we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this one. This is way better. Oops. Not quite sure why he's complaining that the loaders in a way. Um, but then we have the same thing as the previous machine. Where we just split stuff into the extract machine and we also split off stuff going through. This stuff that's going through is going over here into the export. And then you make spice. And then we do something similar over here. Uh, where we export or put out whatever you make. Right over here. Uh, and same thing, 50-50. You keep it moving on, and you go up and away. And then we combine you up, and you up. And then this goes through, that goes through, this goes up, that goes up. And then we get something like this, that, this, that. This, that. This and that. There we go. Good. Uh, and no priority whatsoever. It will just go wherever it needs to go. Uh, and then the only thing we need to do over here is feed this machine up with the amount of lithium chloride that we need. That's going to be a lot of lithium chloride. <laughs> and vulcanite blocks, which is also not going to be uh, an insignificant amount of vulcanite blocks. Also, did I destroy the train track over here? What the hell? Um, there we go. Can we rebuild this one real quick? That is very, very important. Thank you very much. There we go. Good. Um, which means we are going to need three more stations. One for the epoxy output. One, f not the epoxy. One for the uh, reagent output. One for the uh, chloride input. And one for the vulcanite input. Mm, we also need to remodel these over here a bit. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to rip it. It's going to be a bit annoying because my inventory is going to be filling up and everything's going to be complaining again. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Put that all in, please. But we're going to rip that real quick. And then we're going to reconnect the um, station afterwards. Yeah, have this. Have that. Good. Uh, also, please do pick up this. There's more in there than you might think. There we go. Uh, oh, God. Those poor bots. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Day. So let's make some more stations then. Uh, let's maybe start with another output station. Because that's easy to do. Because that's just basically... Uh... How did we manage to do this? You just give me all of that. I see how we managed to do this. Um, yeah, put you over there. That's fine. And then you go this way. Uh, this whole thing over here does not exist for now. Good. That's the additional output station. Let's start maybe hooking up some of the... Outputs. Um, we could also think about combining belts up. I mean, um, we could upgrade these belts. We can definitely do something like that because we are going to have the issue over here that... Oh, but that's also going to be an elaborate... Actually, no. You know what? I'm, I'm talking bullshit again. Yeah, we can just easily, easily make six inputs. And just live with that. Here we go. Because we get six outputs over here. So this one over there, for example, goes all the way. All the way. 
Open there. And then you follow. And you go to there. And then you come along. And you go to there. And then you follow. And you go to there. And then you follow. And you go to there. And then you follow. And you go to there. Done. And then these in the middle. Oh god, my 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 bots are gonna hate me again. <laughs> Pick it up again. <laughs> We might be able to reuse some of that, but um, no, no space. <laughs> but for now, pick it up. I want to have a clean slate um, so that we can work with whatever we can work over here. Here we go. And then pick up the rest. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue over here because the thing I want to do... Requires a bit of space. Hmm. Now, this thing over here is not set in stone yet. Pick it up again. I can't move you. Oh, I want to move you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pick this up. Um, yeah, I have to... Do I have to move you? I kind of want to put the six input belts... Into here. But, well, this is the way. Unless we do the following. Yeah, we could just get rid of the station. Yeah, rebuild everything over here. And we're just going to rebuild the station around it. And the, we could easily still pick up the, the, the warehouse and just, just, just do some, 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 some quick storage shenanigans. But I'm not really in the mood of that. Uh, yeah, just put all of that in there. Yeah, you get some some shot into there. There we go. And we're just gonna rebuild where the station is going to be. Uh, and then we don't have the issue anymore. Good, because then we can do the following. And yeah, put all of that in there. All of that in there. These are coming in. Perfect. Uh, we are going to pull you up. We're gonna pull you up. We're gonna pull you up. Get rid of this connection. Here we go. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. You into there. You into there. You into there. Here we go. That's how we do it. Done. Oh. Here we go. Done. Good. Uh, and then we build the station on top of this one. Uh, and that's something we can build over there. Here we go. And then you just have like an output over there, an output over there. And then other way around. And then we do need at least a station over here. Here we go. So that we can tell where we need to put the inserters. And inserters are going to be like one, two, three, four. Not over there. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. And then power pull. Power pull. And then here we go. You over there. You over there. Uh, and one more over here, I guess. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, that reaches all the wagons. You go like this. You go like that. This over here should be faster belt. We could make it even faster belt if we want to. We should make it even faster belt. Come on, we we have fast belt. We have super fast belt available. Come on, make 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 super purple belt. There we go. Look at that. And that's the output station over there. Good. Uh, 29 minutes. Excellent. So the only thing we need to do over here is to put in a couple more stations on top. Uh, we are yet again going to get. Uh, four output belts over here, or six output belts over here. We could just take this whole thing as it is, uh, place it on top of this one as well. The belts that are coming in will be slightly notched, and actually, oh, even better! Look at this. Oh, it's gonna be great. You over there? You over there? You over there? You over there? You, you over there? You over there? Oh. 
And then we pull you all the way over there. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of this a bit. And this a bit. And then up we go. And up we go. And in. Oh, perfect. Uh, I smudged that over there a bit, but that's fine. And I think this one's going the wrong way. Yeah, that was going the wrong way. <laughs> up we go. Also, not quite sure what happened over here, but so be it. Good. And then we also have a very nice... Oh, am I out of purple belt? I'm out of purple belt. That's fine. And look at this. This looks really nice now. Like, really, really nice. We still need to put in some lamps. Um, and, of course, we still need to put in some inputs on top over here. Uh, I'm just going to sketch out these inputs. Uh, we definitely do want a lithium chloride loader input. And I guess the vulcanite will also be coming into our loader. So it will be something like this, something like that, something like this, something like that. Uh, we got all the space over here to put in the inputs for the vulcanite and for the... the, um, the um, what is it called again? The lithium chloride. So I'll just pack either two stations on top over here or maybe put two stations over here and just belt it over. I think I'll do that because we have all the space over here and it will be the same size. Um, and then it's just basic a hookup game. So I'll be finishing this thing off on off camera time. Um, so next time around, we're going to have the Vitalik reagent and then we're going to tweak the final parts that we need. We're going to do the final checks to see if we have everything in space for uh, packs number three. And if we do, we're going back up to space and we're going to make pack trees until we have pack three done. And then we will see where we go on from there. Good. So if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this YouTube channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking where I do even more Factorio. Uh, we also do some Rimworld over there, GTFO, Day of Billions. We play a whole bunch of games over there. Check it out for yourself. Leave me a follow over there as well. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around.